Hey, everybody, proving to everybody out there once again, yes, we're here. It's Chris Sheeran at my house, and it's uh, my broadcast partner for the New York Liberty, Julianne Viani Brain. She's, uh, she's in the car. All right, let's discuss this. We, we can't ignore the <laughs> fact that you're in a car right now. So, so what are you doing in the car? Well, life's going on, right? I mean, you know, I gotta get out a little bit. Uh, we were actually with my husband at the moment. He's driving. Do not worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> we went to check on our shore house. They're doing a lot of construction and different things uh, on the windows, and had to meet with the contractor. And hey, life's going on now. We are going straight home. Uh, you know, people are people are doing pretty well down by the shore, abiding by social distancing. Nobody's within six feet of each other, but you got some runners out there. It was nice. <laughs> Let's talk about the WNBA. I mean, they're going on business as usual as they can. They're having a draft on April 17th. What do you think about this virtual draft with the league? Well, I mean, I think that it's um, they're kind of taking what's been dealt to them and trying to make it as normal as possible. I, I mean, I, I think it's going to be weird for everybody because you don't get to experience that whole, okay, you go up, you give the uniform, you know, you're announcing it live and in person. Um, you know, I feel a little bad for the players in that regard. However, a lot of stuff, you know, has been done virtually and in different states anyway with, with the WNBA because all these coaches and these players are all over the place in the off season. So it's possible to get done. Will it be different and uh, not quite the same vibe? I would say yes. Uh, it, it will be. It will be Kathy Engelbert, you know, announcing this from her New Jersey home. And it's not like she's in person handing that player like uh, Sabrina Ionescu, who we'll get into, of course. Uh, you know, just, 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 just that experience factor won't be there in the same way. But, hey, they're getting it done and they're doing it the best way that they know how at, at this moment. And I could tell you someone who definitely wants, she's probably itching to get back on the floor. And that is the person we've been talking about uh, here, Sabrina Ionescu. Absolutely, Chris. I, Sabrina Ionescu is, uh, she's one of the best I've seen in a very, very long time. Uh, she has that, she reminds me a little bit of the way Kelsey Plum played when Kelsey was a senior uh, at Washington uh, throughout her career where she dominated. But I feel like she's actually better um, because she's, more versatile than her and uh, I agree there's no way in God's green earth that the Liberty don't take her at, at number one pick and um, and she is that player that can fill that role the Liberty have been really needing uh, another scorer to another playmaker and uh, not only is she a point guard that can score she she's a, she can play the one the two or the three she is just a complete package and and what I like the most about her is that she's ruthless. She's a winner. She has that rip your heart out mentality. You can see it in the way that she plays. And, and she really hones her craft in. She really works hard. And she's really high basketball IQ. Um, I really like her IQ as a player. And I think that does fit Walt's system as well because he's a very intellectual coach. He's, well, let me get to him a little more. He's, he's that guy that's considered a genius coach. He's only 34 years old. But I, I think that she's going to be terrific in the big market, too. New York is the biggest market, uh, obviously, media-wise. And, and now Barclays Center is the nicest arena in the WNBA. So she's going to have the limelight on her. And she's a player that can handle all of the publicity. Um, she's humble uh, as well. And I love that about her. She's humble, and she works her tail off and really deserves anything that she gets. Jules, we appreciate the time. You and Josh get home safe. Uh, and, and please keep with the social distancing and everything else. And we hope to see you sooner rather than later. Thanks for the time. Yes. Thank you, Chris. Stay safe and healthy.